breakthroughs in optical imaging and in genetically encoded fluorophores have enabled scientists to study the biological processes they are interested in, in the living and in some instances even in the behaving organism. While much emphasis has been put on studying the mammalian brain in vivo, our laboratory uses a rather simple model system, the Drosophila neuromuscular junction. And in the following video, we will explain how to anesthetize and to image fruit fry larvae as to follow the development of individual synapses over the time course of hours up to days. While other methods to study the development of fruit fry larvae do exist, the to be presented anesthetization protocol is characterized by the following key features. First of all, by a very high degree of anesthetization, even the heartbeat is arrested, which is essential for high image quality. Secondly, by a survival rate of 95% and by the ability to acquire very sensitive images. The following protocol allows us, for example, to study the dynamics of glutamate receptors tagged with GFP and expressed at physiological levels by their endogenous promoters. You will learn now how to insert the larvae in the imaging chamber, how to anesthetize the fruit fry larvae, how to find a specific position within the larvae to image the synapses there, and then also how to recover the larvae from the anesthetization.